Oh, the things I do for this channel. Cold press juice up. Mazel tov. Oh, fuck. Oh, hi guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. Ooh, I know I am. <laughs> we are back with the Mothers of Invention and uh, Frank Zappa, of course. So Mr. Joel, um, our alpha patron, he sent a request in for the first three tracks of Cruising with Ruben and the Jets. And I thought, why not? Why don't we do the whole damn album? So <laughs> we are doing the first side of it for this week, and the next week we will do the second side. Um, he got me this uh, brand new laptop, him and uh, Barry, on the channel. So I wanted to say thank you in my own way and um, do this album for him. So hopefully he'll take that as a fair exchange. <laughs> thank you guys. You guys rock. So like I said, side one of Cruising with Ruben and the Jets. It's the fourth album by the Mothers of Invention and the fifth overall by Frank Zappa. It was released on December 2nd, 1968, influenced by 1950s doo-wop and rock and roll. It deals with a fictitious Chicano doo-wop band called Ruben and the Jet Jets. And uh, this should be fun. This is an old, I think this is the oldest Zappa track or anything we've ever done. We've done a lot of Zappa for a, a while now. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> Y'all didn't know. There's a subscribe button down there. If you haven't been to the channel before, it's about yay big, red. You want to see more stuff like this? Click it. That's it. All right, here we go. First up is Cheap Thrills by the Mothers of Invention. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> There he is. Yeah, that's definitely a play on like that 1950s sound. That's funny. It's a concept album, so let's see what, where the story takes us. I trust Frank. Love of my life. Love of my life. I love you so. This fucking voice, bro. Love of my life. You only love, love of my 
It's like the B-52s. He's so irreverent, bro. I fucking love it. Cool. Definitely does make you just want to like sway back and forth. <laughs> Take it away, Don. I really am a Zappaite now. Y'all converted me. Now I'm listening to this. I see where the voice comes from now. <laughs> I love it. They're doing a pretty good job for like a parody of it. Well, not like a parody, but I don't even know what the word is for it. They definitely are making fun of it though, <laughs> in a way. How could I be such a fool? So the singer's been Ray Collins and Roy Estrada and Frank. Then our love was lost. Sorry, I was just smoking meth real quick. Times you lied about 
Those like doo wop harmonies in the back are so cool. I'm just like imagining like the album cover in my head and playing. Okay. That bass, god damn. So this is up to where Joe or um, Joel, sorry, <laughs> uh, Joel requested too. The rest is uh, on me, I guess. I'll send myself some money. <laughs> I'm excited. This is fun. Desiree. This was a single released apparently for this album. Desiree. My apologies. Even say. Jimmy Carl Black or Zappa playing drums. Desiree, the first day we met, I'll never forget. I saw you walking down the street, my heart skips the beat. I told you of my love for you, but there was nothing, nothing you would do. I said, please hear my plea, come dance with me. It's so cheesy, but it's so, like, true oh, to what it's supposed to be. You came. We went to the dance that night. I love you. I hailed you so tight. And I know that our love will last through the years, forever, holding each other. <laughs> so cheesy. Oh, man. I'm not satisfied. I've been kind of excited to hear Frank on percussion. Y'all mentioned that a bunch that, you know, he started as a drummer. I'm down with that. What the fuck? Well, damn. I feel that one, but it's been getting better, I think. It's still rough to say that. I don't know what I'd do without y'all. I love y'all. 
if you know that. They captured this so perfectly, man. It's so wild. It's like exactly. Wow. It sounds legit, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's them fucking around, basically. <laughs> Fucking Zappa, dude. Just in, just in general, this whole thing. This is hilarious to me. I'm trying to get what I can. This is definitely not what I was expecting at all. But at the same time it is. If that makes any sense. I said I'll just kill myself. I said, the fuck? <laughs> oh man, this is funny. Next up is Jelly Roll Gumdrop. I bet if someone like stumbled upon this album and didn't know, they would just think it was a 1950s album. Ultimate cheese. Get a tiny bite of it. So fucking cheesy. I love this. One little bite of that shit. <laughs> fucking A, dude. Thank you for requesting this, Joel. <laughs> fucking coughing in the background. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Alright, we have reached our last track. Anything. I just already knew. 
my heart cries Take my heart My love, my everything For so long I've needed your When you first came to me I, I, I doubted your love But now That bass is sick in this one Oh no You mean everything Too far away. to me And each day I love you more. Sax. I mean, I can't believe they pulled this off, but wow, man. Hats off to them. They totally leaned into it. <laughs> like, what? Like, what? Honestly, what the fuck, Frank? That is so funny to me that they totally did this. They leaned into it and everything. They did. <laughs> that was a straight up like 1950s style, like barbershop quartet, doo wop sort of just you know albums, songs, all that. Like, and it was every like cliche generic song from the that time period too that they put in there and just. I mean, they were. It, it felt like they were making fun of it, but in a way they were still honoring it. It felt like in a little bit, but. It was mostly, I think, satirical, um, but they did a hell of a job recreating everything and just making it, you know, that music, you know? They did a good job. Um, let's see. We have Mr. Ray Collins on lead vocals, Frank Zappa on um, the low grumbles, the ooh-wah, and lead guitar. Also drums, piano, and bass. Roy Estrada on the high wheezings, the dweedy dupe, and the electric bass. <laughs> Um, Jimmy Carl Black and or Arthur Dreyer Trip the uh, Third, the lewd pulsating rhythm. Uh, Ian Underwood and or Don Preston, uh, redundant piano triplets. Uh, Motorhead Sherwood, the baritone sax and tambourine, and Bunk Gardner and Ian Underwood, tenor and alto sax. <laughs> so they had um, obviously names for their characters and stuff like that. I wonder if they like performed this live or did anything with it. That's hilarious. Um, I really enjoyed the bass um, on this. Like, I don't know who did what because Frank did a bunch of shit too. And the Wikipedia is basically just someone fucking with me. So uh, we're just going to leave that alone, I guess. Um, I think everyone was great on this. Uh, for what they were trying to, like, recreate, it was definitely a, I don't know, almost like a shot-for-shot -shot recreation of a lot of songs I remember hearing. Like, my grandpa play, my grandma play, and stuff like that when I was a kid. And they love that shit. I went and saw a... Um, when I was younger, they did a, uh, it's like a, a joke, it's like, it's like this, but it's like four dudes, uh, the barbershop quartet thing, just standing around a mic, snapping their fingers and stuff, but it was like a humorous one, um, and I never forgot that shit, like I really, it's still ingrained in my brain from when I was four or five years old, I could probably recite a song or still too, um, 
there's one about like Weight Watchers and stuff. Like it was just hilarious. And that's honestly um, where I got my first taste of Sgt. Pepper because they did a, a joke on like they did a joke song on Sgt. Pepper sort of thing. And I remember that because I remember the name Sgt. Pepper, just Lonely Hearts Club Band, just from that. I, it's crazy. Um, yeah, man, they recreated it great. Uh, I love Frank's like <laughs> just low, like, literally his grumblings as they said, just oh, no, no. that fucking voice. I can't help it. It makes me laugh every time. Just after Billy the Mountain and all the songs we've listened to where he just goes nuts with that voice and just, you know, plays around with it and everything. I love it. His voice is hilarious. <laughs> it will never not make me laugh. Uh, I just think there's the one song, I think like track three, where he got to actually play guitar a little bit, you know, and unleash it a little bit. Just it had some kind of riffage or something. Most of this was just the concept album leading them, and them leaning into it completely. Um... But I really enjoyed that. I'm excited for next week to hear, you know, side two. Um, I want to see if they do anything different with it too, you know, because like I think they did every cliche song imaginable like here. So I don't know what to expect on side two because this is not what I was expecting. Um, and I bet people who have not listened to this album was not expecting this either. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I thought I would surprise Joel and y'all with that since he only asked for three. And it was like four more songs. I said, fuck it. Let's do it a whole album. Might as well. Got me a whole new laptop, dude. Thank you. I appreciate you. You and Barry. Y'all are amazing. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I don't even really know what to say. I enjoyed the vocals. The harmonies were awesome, honestly. They really did a great job with the harmonies. The bass was great. Um, that one song where Frank uh, where Frank got to play guitar, actually. And if he did any of the percussion and drums, um, good for him, too, man. Because I actually kind of want to explore that and hear some more of Frank on percussion. I know y'all said that you had videos of that or, like, you know, songs. So, please leave those below. Because I really want to see or and or hear him, you know, play drums. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I kind of don't, don't know what else to say. I enjoyed the saxophone on the last song, anything. That was really cool. Um, but for the most part, it was just them fucking around. <laughs> it's like, I, I definitely dug it, though. I, I dig the concept. And I'm, I'm in. I'm totally in. So I will see you all next week uh, for side two. If you all didn't know, we have a Patreon. Right here. So you're going to come talk to me? Oh, yeah. What's up, baby? Uh, if you would like to join any of the tiers, you get access to all of our block content, all of our Patreon exclusives. I'm about to post a new one, and actually tonight or tomorrow, um, another King Crimson track. Ooh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got full Beatles albums on there. Uh, we got Sgt. Pepper, Abbey Road, and Revolver, all in full on Patreon, if you want to go check that out. Uh, also, some, uh, not just some, a ton of King Crimson. Basically, every KC track I've ever done is on there. Tons of them are blocked, so they're only on there. Um, yeah, and there's a Zappa. There's the Don't Eat the Yellow Snow Sweet as well. If you want to watch that, that's on there. Um, I don't know, man. We have a great community. Like, we really do. We have a Discord. We've got, like, 350 people on our Patreon now. Just good. We have a great community. We've cultivated a very uh, healthy garden, as to say. I've picked all the weeds for the most part. There's still a couple, but I'll get you soon enough. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. um and then patreon's not your thing there's a paypal link in the description for tips requests and anything else thank you for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed that i will see y'all later